Hello and welcome to another video from Let's Drink Tea. Today we're going to brew Yunnan black tea, which is the most common black tea in China. Or maybe that's not quite true, actually. I forgot about Kimun tea. Um, but it's it's probably my favorite. I mean, I, I've said before I like golden monkey tea. That's actually a type of Yunnan tea. Um, but I, I really like this one too. Um, so for Yunnan tea, uh, Yunnan black tea, um, you generally want to use one to two teaspoons per eight ounces of water. Um, I'm going to go with the larger end of that, two teaspoons per eight ounces. This is a 20 ounce pot, so that would make five teaspoons. I'll explain in a minute while it's brewing why I'm going with the larger amount. So go ahead and put these in and you can see the, I don't know if you can see these leaves, they're kind of longish and twisted a little bit. Um, some are darker, some are lighter. That's a characteristic of good Yunnan tea is that you have a lot of lighter leaves, um, kind of golden tippy leaves. So uh, those are the higher quality ones it's because it's made from younger plants, like a white tea. So there we got two. I'm not heaping these teaspoons since I'm going with a larger amount, um, but trying to get a good amount on. Three. Uh, this one's bigger, but I guess it's alright. It's not an exact science. Five. Make sure. That right, looks good. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and add one more, and I'll explain all of that in a minute. Another large one. So, now that we've got that in there, we add the water. Um, for black tea, you generally want to use boiling water or close to it. Um, so, I've got that prepared right here. And I just love the color of this tea. And now the reason I went with a larger teaspoon, um, uh, this tea, it can brew bitter fairly easily. Um, so if you overdo it with the uh, steeping time with the amount of tea leaves, it will get bitter. I don't personally mind that too much, but it's, it's not generally what you want. Um, for that reason, the estimates given for this tea are generally pretty conservative. So one to two teaspoons is fairly conservative. Um, because I've brewed this particular tea out of this bag before, I know that one teaspoon wouldn't be enough. And generally when you get a new tea, what I do is err on the side of caution, go with the smaller amount, um, in this case the one teaspoon, brew it, see if you like it. If it's not strong enough for your taste, then next time, you know, increase the amount of leaves you use and also increase the steeping time. Um, because I've made it before, I already know I want to go with the long, uh, with the, the higher amount of leaves. Um, I even used a little bit more than two teaspoons uh, uh, per eight ounces. I should have used two heaping teaspoons, but like I said, it's it's not an exact science. And as for the steeping time, um, you're supposed to let it steep about one to two minutes. Again, first time I'd go shorter. Um, I almost always go shorter than those numbers anyways. I, I explain this every time. I use a glass teapot so that I can see what it looks like and then just base my steeping time on that. I don't actually time it. Um, I just kind of wait until it looks how I want it to look, and that looks really nice now. Um, you know, th there's a reason the Chinese call black tea red tea, and you can see it right there in that color. And actually, not just the Chinese, all everyone in Asia, all the Asian countries, they call it that. Um, not sure why we call it black tea. I suppose it's the color of the leaves that we go by, whereas they go by the color of the actual brewed tea. Um, and there you go. That's Yunnan black tea. Uh, you know, one of my favorites from the color. I just love the way it brews like that. That that deep reddish, brownish, orangish, whatever you call that. Um, all right. I, I hope you enjoyed it, and please join me on the next video. Thank you.